Hey folks, Todd at Freedom Fighter Tactical. Today we are going to talk about the five things that most people choose to do to their Benelli M4 shotgun when they get it out of the box. Let's get started right now. Hey folks, Todd at Freedom Fighter Tactical. This week we are going to talk about the five things that most people choose to do to their Benelli M4 shotgun right out of the box here at Freedom Fighter Tactical. I do these sorts of videos once a week. I also do a status of business and inventory update on Mondays. These how-to type videos, informative type videos come towards the end of the week, either Thursdays or Fridays. And it is my goal to publish two videos a week for you so you know what's going on at Freedom Fighter Tactical, how things are going with shipping, how things are going with our inventory on Mondays. And then of course, towards the end of the week, the how-to kind of stuff, uh, sometimes it's demonstration, sometimes it's installation, sometimes it's chit chat, whatever. So if that's the kind of video you're looking for, you're a Benelli enthusiast or you're a future Benelli enthusiast and you wanna get the lowdown on all the greatest stuff, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell on the channel so that you are notified when you go to YouTube that there's a new video up. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. YouTube loves positive indicators like that. That shows interaction with the videos, and I encourage you to give a thumbs up to every gun-related video that you watch every day because you're helping the gun community in that way. Of course, YouTube is not the friendliest platform for gun videos and gun content, so the more positivity that we can rein in on, uh, on all the videos in the gun culture, the better for those people. Of course, you can reach out to me at Freedom Fighter Tactical at Instagram. You can also send me an email, freedomfightertactical at gmail.com. And the phone number on the website does go to my cell phone. You can contact me anytime. If I don't answer, just leave a message and I will call you back. I used to put the video up in the corner, but uh, just in case, way down the road, I relocate my business out of the state of California. I don't want to go have to go back and trash all my videos because there's a 949 California area code and California would do everything humanly possible to keep me as an entity in California even if I left and they would point to something even silly like a phone number on a video that was five years old or something like that. So I don't put the, vid the phone number on the video anymore. I only put it on the website, but you can go over the website and you can contact me directly. All right, so let's talk about the top five things that people do out of the box to their Benelli M4 shotgun. And these are not necessarily in an order of uh, importance or an order that things that people do first as opposed to second or third. It is kind of generally how the order in which people do things, but people do all sorts of things and uh, with their shotgun. Um, and a lot of the times people start with simply a charging handle just because they want to test the waters with Freedom Fighter Tactical. They want to, you know, do it with something uh, inexpensive and easy to install. So um, just because this list is in a certain order doesn't mean that everybody does it in this order. Of course, these tend to be the most popular things. Okay, so let's get started with item number one. Item number one is to change out the magazine tube. Most of you out there are gonna be buying the shotgun with a five round capacity and has a two round aluminum limiter on the end of the magazine tube. And of course, you can change that out and put seven rounds on there very easily. So there's nothing greater than seven rounds that I'm aware of in the marketplace. The way the gun was designed, it's about impossible to do things greater than seven rounds. There may be something out there. I think I've seen something through the years where somebody had uh, offered a uh, an eight or a nine. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I haven't seen it. I haven't tried it. Uh, but I, I don't see it discussed in YouTube videos. I don't see it discussed in the forums. I don't get a lot of calls on that. So I, if it's something that ever existed, it's gone now or it's hard to find or you know whatever, but you're welcome to try to seek that out. But most people are wanting a seven plus one capacity and most people go with the seven round mag tube. That is the number one thing that people do. They want the added capacity, the two shells additional. Um, the gun comes into the country under federal law dictates where if the gun was made here, it would be able to have a seven round mag tube, but because it's imported, it cannot. And I'm not gonna get into a whole 922 hour discussion, but if all you do is change out the magazine tube, then you have a potential 922 hour issue. I don't like to sound uh, the bells and the sirens and make that sound super scary, 
the odds are very low that you would ever have a 922R entanglement, but it is a federal law, it is a felony. Poorly written law too, I might add. Um, so it might even be a trick trying to prosecute you on it, but it does exist and most of us as gun enthusiasts want to obey the law because we know that any infractions can mean loss of rights and we don't want to jeopardize that. So uh, simply switching out the tube can lead to a 922R issue. So. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos in the Freedom Fighter Tactical Library if you'd like to learn more about 922R. And of course, you can go to the website under the Learn tab at the top of the page. Is uh, There are two categories. One's for California law uh, regarding collapsible stocks, and one is for federal law 922R. 922R does apply federally, which means it doesn't matter if you're in Texas. It doesn't matter if you're in Alaska. People love to call me and say, hey, I'm in Tennessee. We pretty much don't have gun laws here. Well, that might be true, but federal law applies everywhere. But that's the number one thing that people want to do. They want to take off that five round mag tube and put the seven round tube on there. We offer them in steel uh, and we have two versions in steel. We have the, um, the, the phosphated, the black, um, which matches the black shotgun. We also have the NP3 coating to match the H2O shotgun. We also make them in titanium, which is more of an Air Force gray. Uh, it doesn't match the gun uh, as closely as the steel does, but it's close enough that it really doesn't matter. It's a work of art. Titanium is the number one pick for Freedom Fighter customers. They like the titanium. It's why we're sold out often, and that's just what people want to do. Um, we go into back order status quite a bit on that. You can put in an order, get in line, you will get charged, and uh, it will ship to you upon arrival. So that's the number one pick that people do with their Benelli M4 shotgun. Number two is the Wolf Freedom Fighter Tactical Premium Magazine Spring for the seven round magazine tube. Folks, if you're going to change out the tube, you may as well put in a premium high power spring while you're at it. A lot of people ask me, is the original spring sufficient to work in a seven round tube when they remove the seven or the five round tube and put the seven round tube on there? In almost all circumstances, your original spring is going to work just fine. Occasionally, people do not cycle as well with the, the original spring, but Benelli doesn't have a box of springs for five round tubes and a box of springs for seven round tubes. Every tube coming out of Italy is getting the same spring on it. So it just makes sense if you're getting a, a, a magazine tube that you're going to a high powered spring. Wolf is the leader in gun springs as far as we're concerned in the United States and it's far superior as far as we're concerned to the OEM spring. Not that there's anything wrong with the OEM spring. The OEM spring could be a wolf spring. Maybe it would be over-engineered, I don't know. But it's a, you know, the, the wolf spring is undeniable, the leader in magazine springs in this country. They make great springs and that is, almost everybody that gets a tube chooses to get a spring to go with that. All right, number three is the Freedom Fighter Tactical Trigger Kit, complete with a four pack of Wolf Springs to change out all the springs in your trigger kit. The Freedom Fighter Tactical Trigger Kit consists of the trigger, the hammer, and the disconnector. We've been selling these for over 10 years. They are, you know, they fly out the door. People love them. If you're looking for a smoother, crisp trigger pull, you want a lighter trigger pull. Benelli's trigger pulls comes in about eight and a quarter. On average has been what we've found over the years. Ours is gonna come in around six and a quarter. It's a wonderful feel. People love it. It's been around for, like I said, 10 years. And you know, time and time again, I tell people, take the Pepsi challenge, put, you know, or go out and try your shotgun with the Benelli original trigger kit before you put ours in and let me know if you're not satisfied. And I've never had anybody call me up and say they weren't satisfied. Okay. It's just a wonderful kit. Um, if you're looking to eliminate creep, you're looking to get your break right when you put enough pressure on there, that's what you're going to get with the trigger kit. We, we, I mean, we go through these things, people love them. And the nice thing too is, is they count as 922R. So um, for the you collapsible stock people, almost always you're putting a trigger kit in your gun to get 922R compliance because it makes sense. Three parts right there. The fourth part being the 
seven round mag tube. Of course, if your tube is already on the gun when you buy it, a lot of times you buy collapsible stock, uh, the gun comes with a collapsible stock, it's also gonna come with a seven round mag tube. So if in that case, most people go with the trigger kit and the follower, but the trigger kit makes a lot of sense for 922R. It makes a lot of sense for making the gun nicer and to make it a better shooting experience when you're out enjoying your Benelli M4. The fourth item that people tend to go with is the charging handle. And we make four different, well, we make six different charging handles if you go by coatings for the Benelli M4 shotgun out of two different materials. So we use steel and we use titanium. The steel charging handles come in half inch and that's the radius and they come in three quarter inch. Again, that's the radius. They stick out from the gun about as far as the original charging handle. So that doesn't change. It's just the radius that changes. How beefy of a handle do you want? So we make those in steel. We also make those in titanium. The steel ones, we have two different coatings. We have the black coating for the black guns and we have the H2O coating or the NP3 coating for the H2O shotguns. It matches the titanium shotgun color very, very well. Of course, if you're wanting the uh, one that matches your black gun the best, you're gonna go with the steel half inch or the steel three quarter in the black finish. We also make titanium. A lot of people want to shave off every ounce they can. So the titanium charges, charging handles are a natural choice. They are an Air Force gray. They're gonna look a lot like the titanium magazine tube. And those also come in the half inch and the three quarter radius. They're wonderful charging handles. And it's, it's actually the item that started Freedom Fighter Tactical. When I got into Freedom Fighter Tactical back in 2008, the charging handle was the very first item that we manufactured in, I think we made three quarter steel. And we've been doing our kind of our little trademark um, uh, design with the knurling that we like and the three rings for extra grip. So we've been doing that since day one and these charging handles are a very popular option. And like I said, a lot of people choose that as their very first option because they're new to the gun. Um, they wanna test the waters with Freedom Fighter Tactical, make sure we're legit, make sure that the quality is up to their standards, uh, make sure that they're treated right before they go all in. And I mean, this gun's an expensive gun, so I get it. People wanna make sure that they're getting what they want and that their hard earned money is being spent in a fashion that suits them. And so a lot of people love to start out with us with the charging handle. It's a, it makes perfect sense. But those people usually come later for the tube and the stocks and all that other stuff. So uh, that brings me actually the stocks to the fifth item. The fifth item that most people go with when they're shopping at Freedom Fighter Tactical is a Mesa Tactical stock. It's called the Urbino stock. And we've been selling these, uh, gosh, for 10 years, I think. And we used to have four different versions. They used, Mesa had them and probably still does with a standard butt pad, which is very similar to the butt pad on the shotgun when you buy it right out of the box. But almost everyone chose to go with a model that had the limb saver. And ultimately we decided here at Freedom Fighter Tactical that we would only offer the version with the limb saver butt pad. And we have two versions of the Urbino stock with the limb saver butt pad. One of them has the cheek riser and one of them does not have the cheek riser. Folks, the cheek riser performs two functions as far as we're concerned at Freedom Fighter Tactical. The first concern that it addresses is for those of you who are using optics on your shotgun, when you put optics on this gun, whether you're using a, the top rail that's on there, whether you're using an, an aftermarket rail, or whether you're using the, um, the, uh, the Trijicon RMR style rail that Scholar Works has that we offer on our website, uh, the odds are very high that the optics are gonna be higher up than your face when you're getting a nice cheek weld on the side of your shotgun, you're not gonna be able to see through the optics. You need to have a way to raise the profile of your face so that you can see through your optics. The cheek riser is nice because there's, I think there's three positions and you can raise and lower that cheek riser to suit your needs based on the optics that you're using. And the second reason why people buy the cheek riser version is because it's the only version that Mesa makes where you can add a side saddle to the butt stock. I'm actually very excited about that. I love the cheek or the uh, the cheek riser and the ability to put a side saddle on the butt stock. My preference, I'm not a big side saddle fan. I, I, I don't really want to make my gun any heavier than it needs to be. And so I, you know, I've had side saddles on my receiver and yes, I sometimes use, put, we'll put one there and, and enjoy it even, but um, I actually prefer it on the butt stock even more. And the version of the Mesa Tactical Urbino stock that does not have the cheek riser, does not have the ability to add the side saddle that Mesa makes 
to the side of the buttstock where the cheek riser does. So let's say that you're not using optics, but you want to use the cheek riser, but you don't want your face to be raised up because you want to see through your iron sights. Um, and you want that side saddle on your buttstock. Well, so that's simple. You put the cheek riser all the way at the very bottom setting and it will raise your face just a hair. It's not enough to even worry about. And you'll be able to see through your iron sights just fine. And you'll have the ability to use the side saddle for the buttstock. But if you buy the version without the, the cheek riser, then you have no option to use that side saddle on the buttstock and you have no option to, um, to raise your face if you decide to put optics later on down the road. If you get the version with the cheek riser, you can put it in that low position. And if you ever get optics down the road, you can raise it up. If you ever wanna add the side saddle, you've got the ability to have the side saddle on the butt stock. So that's about it, folks. Really, the top five things that people choose at Freedom Fighter Tactical to put on their gun right out of the gate when they get the gun out of the box. The reason I made this video today is because I am overloaded with phone calls from new customers, people who are even brand new to guns who have tons of questions about what should they get and what should they not get and this is a this video kind of represents a great starting point it it tackles all the basics the added capacity the oversized charging handle a shorter stock that's one thing i forgot to mention when i was talking about the stock the mesa stock is two inches shorter than the original stock i have a video uh, you can go into the freedom fighter tactical library i have a video where i discuss uh how to measure the stock against your body to um determine if it's the right size for you. And most of us are gonna find that the Benelli OEM stock is a little bit too long for us that we could use a couple inches off of it. And the Mesa stock addresses that. So, you know, between the stock, the charging handle, the tube, uh, the Wolf Spring and the trigger kit, I mean, you've got a great gun out of the box without a lot of extra non-essential things. Um, to get you started, it gives you 922R compliance, it gives you the added capacity, it gives you the shorter stock so that you can clear corners and things and manipulate your gun better without breaking the bank. Although, you know, if you're into the Benelli shotgun, you know, for a lot of people, you're breaking the bank. It's a very expensive shotgun. The aftermarket parts are expensive no matter where you're going for them. Uh, it is not an inexpensive hobby. It's kind of like golf. If you're, if you're into Benelli's, you, it's like being into golf. Golf is a very expensive sport. It keeps a lot of people out. Um, because of the price of golf, golf clubs, golf shoes, golf clothes, golf, you know, greens fees, um, you know, buckets of balls at the driving range, golf, it lessons. It is, golf is a very expensive sport and Benelli shotguns are kind of the same thing. You're buying the best and you're making it to be even better than it is out of the box. This gun, this shotgun is amazing out of the box compared to most shotguns out there. In fact, in, as far as I'm concerned, compared to all shotguns out there but you can trick it out. It's kind of like buying a Lamborghini and saying, you know what, I want even better wheels than Lamborghini puts on their own car. Buying a Rolls Royce and wanting a better exhaust than Rolls Royce puts on their own car. You know, buying a Porsche and putting better brakes on it than Porsche puts on there themselves. So, you know, it's kind of the same thing. The Benelli out of the box is amazing. It is the best shotgun that money can buy and it is a, a gun that you are going to love and enjoy for years to come and, and your heirs someday. Uh, who uh, are given your gun uh, when you're gone are going to love it just as much as you did. And, uh, but it can be made better. Everything can be made better. So that's it, folks, here at Freedom Fighter Tactical today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to respond to each and every one. Of course, you can email me at freedomfightertactical at gmail.com. You can check us out on Facebook. You can call the number on the website. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below. And one more time, if you can give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this chat today and uh, you know to completely go over the top five kind of essentials for the Benelli M4 that Freedom Fighter Tactical offers, give us a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. It helps get these videos out in front of more people who are looking for this kind of content. So folks, you know where to find me. I look forward to talking to you in the next video. I look forward to talking to many of you on the telephone. I hope you have a great week ahead and I will talk to you soon. Take care, folks.